Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with our obstacles topic. So we are going to look at the next obstacle, which is called the testing methods. Now this particular obstacle contains a multi-select list box, which contains a lot of different testing methods, which are supported by Tosca. And we need to select these testing methods from this particular list box, okay? So we need to select uh, functional testing, and then we need to select UI testing, right? And then we need to select end-to-end -end and exploratory, right? And then if all of them are selected, then this particular obstacle will be solved. Now this you need to do through automation, right? And to achieve this, we need to uh, use two different concepts in Tosca. So let's see what are these. Now to make it uh, easier, I have already scanned this particular module. So I have selected these two controls, which is the select drop down, or multi box, and then the item itself, right? So you don't need to select all the items because they would be similar in nature, right? Only the names are changing but all the properties will remain same for all the items. So we don't need to select uh, all the items separately. That's not the ideal way of doing this. Uh, we can just select one of the items. And then, as I said, we need to use two different concepts here, right? So uh, the first concept is uh, we need to change the cardinality. Okay, so the cardinality by default is set to zero to one, which means uh, you can only use this particular uh, module attribute once, right? Now here, what we need to do is we need to uh, click on this module attribute number of times. Uh, for four different testing methods, I need to click or I need to use this module attribute four times, right? So the cardinality uh, helps you to basically um, use the module attribute multiple times, okay? So if you change the cardinality, if you increase the range, then you can use it multiple times. So what uh, we can do here is we can just change the cardinality from zero to one to zero to N. So I can use this particular module attribute N number of times, okay? The second thing which we have to do is we have to add a configuration parameter. So right click, on the item and then select create configuration parameter. Now here we need to use something called explicit name, right? Now we have discussed about this earlier. So what is explicit name? And we need to set the value to true. So what this will do is uh, it will help me to rename this item in my test case itself. Okay, so if I rename it in the module attribute, then it will reflect it in the test case or test step. But since I have to use uh, different testing method names, right, like this, so I want to change the item name uh, in each test step. Okay, so these are the two changes which you need to do at a module attribute level. So you need to change the cardinality and then you need to add a configuration parameter, which is explicit name set to true, okay? Now, uh, let's build a test case out of this. So let's go to our obstacles. And here uh, we are going to create a new test case. I am going to use this particular obstacle as the test case name. Okay, and then uh, we can just drag the module right here. Okay, so as you can see uh, in the test step, we have got the select drop down, and then we have got the item. Okay, now uh, as I said, we need to use this particular item number of times, right? So what we will do is uh, we are going to rename this item, okay, to different testing methods. And then you will see that once you do that, okay, another item is already there. So I can use this multiple times and this is due to the cardinality property, right? So since we have increased it to N number of times, this will keep on adding this particular item as many times as you want, okay? 
so the action mode will by default set to input, which means it is going to uh, select or click on that particular item. Okay. Uh, and now let's go ahead and add all the remaining ones. So we need end to end testing. Okay, so uh, we also need to mention testing here, otherwise it will not select it. And then end to end testing, right? And then uh, the GUI testing. And finally, uh, we will add the exploratory testing. Okay. And uh, it can select uh, all these module attributes based on these names. And this is due to the explicit name. Okay. So both the concepts are being used here and you can understand why we are trying to use this. Okay. So this is all uh, we have to do here. So it will select that particular list box and then it will uh, select all the items individually uh, together and it will complete the riddle, okay? So if I go ahead and execute this now, okay, so as you can see, it selected all the items in the background and it was able to complete this particular uh, riddle, right? So as you can see, it selected all the different testing methods uh, in the multi-select list box, okay? So a couple of concepts which was covered uh, in this particular obstacle, which was how you can select multiple items in a list box, then um, how you can use cardinality and also explicit name for a module attribute. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.